Good afternoon, my fellow Metrox and Unified Traders members. This is to inform you about the updates that we gather from our Grand Pressure Group meeting yesterday. First of all, I want to thank every one of you for all your congratulatory messages as regards my birthday. And I also want to say, may peace and blessing of the Lord be with you guys. And uh, the blessing of our house will continue to increase in this cooperative in Jesus' name. First of all, the meeting started around a little minute after 11 and uh, the chairman of all grand pressure group river state chapter in the person of ambassador comrade sylvester eventually briefed the house uh, for a while to tell us about the new developments and uh, to tell us about facts which of course are cogent but before i go on i would like to also inform you that about three or four members of our cooperatives were present. The person of uh, Reverend Matrix Reverend Duru, Matrix Barnabas, and uh, Matrix uh, Daniel Ogona, the vice president of Matrix Cooperative, and as well as my humble self. Well, we were brief, I'll go straight to the point. It is no news again that there's no grant coming from UAAG. And the one we have right now is the government palliative, which is being championed and to be executed by our grand pressure group in collaboration with the government committee if you check yesterday newspapers you will see the palliative that has already been announced by the federal government and this of course is a good news for us that we will have to manage and uh, i sincerely told the graduate there yesterday that i for person is happy with the current development and if the government can do that for us at least it will reduce the pressure that we have and it will also break the jinx of failed grant in nigeria so that is exactly what happened yesterday first of all the all grand pressure group dissolved all the executive members dissolved their prayer uh, group as well as their tax force and replaced them with uh, some officers to manage it until after disbursement when those offices will be refilled back again then secondly it is the grant the grant is going to be 320 million naira, which of course it is said at 300,000 naira each to all beneficiaries. Why the cooperative or the NGO owners have the 20 million naira? Number two. The major aspect of the whole thing is going to be projects. There's going to be projects in the 774 local government area of Nigeria, local government of Nigeria, sorry, and to be handled by all the NGOs, owners, as well as executed in their local government of existence. So this is what the 
are going to do is going to be in various projects then number three is there are going to be uh, coordinators the zona coordinators and state coordinators so and of course the one for south south uh, uh, has been arranged and uh, looked into and uh, we are gathering ourselves together so that uh, we are waiting for the announcement by the government themselves so we don't know the zona coordinator yet and we don't even know the state coordinators yet but we have all submitted i think uh, they have also the river state chapter have submitted uh names and they are waiting for approval this of course the what will be their job the zona coordinators are to coordinate each of the six states in the six geographical zone of nigeria where the state coordinator will look after all the disbursement and execution of the grant um we also learned that our chairman in the person of ambassador comrade investor and our pro in the person of ambassador comrade adamson aka kapo they will be working from abuja headquarters of the all grand pressure group to see to the smooth disbursement execution of uh, the grant so under the south south we have river state we have Bayesa state we have cross river we have aqua Ibom, we have edo state and we have delta state so these are the major highlight of the meeting yesterday the meeting didn't last long because uh, everything was done uh, smoothly and sharp sharp and the meeting closes as well as uh, eventually uh, everybody dispersed but along the line lastly people came asking me a question about the wema bank and i told them that uh, anybody that has apply for the Wema Bank uh, loan from Metris Cooperative. Most people does not even know the cooperative that is really handling that. A lot of people are ignorant of most of the things they are doing. So, and they got angry, aggravated unnecessarily. All everybody wants is the money. They don't want to know where the money is coming from or where, who is doing it. They always want to hold one person responsible, just like they are holding me responsible for the Wema Bank. And in our last meeting, we have said that uh, all the people who need a refund should come to the Metris Cooperative Office and fill a refund form so that in due season, we can refund their money. And for our members or anybody who is interested, they can eventually transfer their payment to the housing unit which we are already gotten a contract for so i think that is that so now that it is very clear we have to go back to our drawing board so that we can start putting all our records straight because any moment from now the money will hit our account and we will have to disburse to ourselves. I want to say thank you. If you have any matter whatsoever regarding this, whether you want to cross check your names or you want to confirm things as regards our cooperative document as well as data you can come to the office from monday to friday 8 a.m to 5 p.m daily so 
If you have anything you want to make a request or you want to confirm or you want to see through, it is very, very necessary if you want to come. Then you can come to the office. The office is open. Or if you have any matter arising that you want to trash that is bothering you, you can come to the office. I want to thank you very much and I say have a good evening. I remain the chairman and president at EBS, Metris Cooperative Investment and Credit Society. It's me, Ambassador Dr. Larry. Thank you.